SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we've got updates out of AST Space Mobile for those of you that have been following the story pretty closely. This is the AT&T and Verizon version of the satellite to smartphone connectivity uh, equivalent to what T-Mobile is doing with Starlink. Anyways, we got an update. It's a good one. Let's talk about it here in this video. A link for the article from Jason Rainbow Space News will be provided down in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new here and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, folks, up to date, we've got AST Space Mobile making progress on launching their satellites. These are LEO based satellites for cellular service. LEO meaning low earth orbit. And the initial licensing from the FCC has taken place. I think there's been some, uh, I guess, some hesitance from the FCC to just simply allow and permit certain things to happen. Things seem to be kind of in a uh, strategic, you know, very sequential, slow linear progression for these companies as they try to advance the technologies and get things launched. Anyways, uh, AST, for what it's worth, is working directly with Verizon and AT&T, but also, in, you know, larger carriers in Europe as well. So there's obviously a huge vested interest of these companies who have not only invested in themselves to try to get to, you know, coverage from space. So they have coverage all over the place. Uh, you know, as long as a person's device can see the sky, they can get a signal. But they've also invested in AST, right? They've, they've turned them into a strategic investment of sorts. And uh, eliminating all dead zones and all things, while that may seem compelling and incredible, really you've got to launch a ton of satellites to create the capacity to be able to provide service to folks. Even though these are going to be temporary, momentary, occasional connections, you know, it's, it's going to take a large deployment. You know, we're talking about a sat number anywhere between 45 to 60 sats. And who knows, you know, that just based on the demand, you might see this number have to increase with time. But it looks like 17 larger direct to cell phone satellites are launching. And uh, well, very soon, I, I don't see why this would wouldn't occur. But, you know, obviously, like I said, there's there's a process to this. Uh, AT&T and Verizon using the 850 megahertz. Uh, they'll have compatible radio RAN gear for the other carriers as well. Uh, and, and they'll be able to provide 100% geographic coverage in the U.S. so long as your device can see the sky. Uh, so now you've got heavy competition between SpaceX, Starlink, and T-Mobile, along with AST Space Mobile and the other carriers. And we're starting to see progress in the direction uh in the evolution of of the testing so that we should see more happening here in the coming months we knew this was going to be occurring in this back half of the year i think what's interesting to see is whenever we do get the beta testing now that satellites are starting to launch and we're probably going to have several more launched in the coming months so pretty exciting to see if it actually works how it works those types of questions can be answered and then for the people who are out in the middle of nowhere They'll get to test it and of course you know it, it's important to note that both android and ios have these capabilities both apple you know and google have solutions with satellite providers to already offer this how and if and when at some point this stuff gets monetized seems to be the question of the day oh uh, we're tracking that as well just giving you guys the updates let me know what you think of this development exciting nothing burger what's your take you are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.